The nice thing about software development is you can change the world with your ideas. But first we need an IDE. And since this is going to be a Java-based project, I'm going to get the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. We can start with the Community Edition. I've logged on here from my Windows machine, and it recognizes that it's a Windows machine, so I'm simply going to choose Download, fill out my details, choose Submit, and as soon as I hit Submit, you see that the download starts. So I click here, and I choose Open. And as it's opening, I'll tell you why we need an IDE. Uh, we need an IDE because it allows us to write our code and also run our code, debug our code, test our code, many things. So it's an all-in-one development tool that helps us to write great software. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and click through the prompts here. And install. This will take just a moment, so I'll pause the video. And the installation finished, so I'll go ahead and choose Run and then Finish. Read the license agreement in its entirety. And if you're satisfied, choose Continue. Now we can start a new project. I will call my project vehicles. Java project is good. Build system IntelliJ is fine. Uh, JDK, notice that I don't have JDK, but it gives me a nice option here to download one. So I'm going to choose download. And version 1.8 is good. Open JDK is good. Uh, so I'll go ahead and choose download. Everything else looks good. I'll go ahead and choose create. Now notice that it starts us with a vehicles project and a source folder. So from here, I can simply choose new, and then we'll say Java class. We'll just call this one our main class. Note that I can type in PSVM and then press tab, and it will give me the public static void main method, which is where our program starts. SOUT tab will give me a system out print line, and we'll say in vehicles main. Now because this is a main class with a main method, notice what we get up here, a couple of arrows. One is to run the entire class, and the other is to run the main method. And since the class only has a main method, uh, we can right-click here and choose Run, or we can choose Debug. Run's going to make sense right now because uh, we only have one line, so there's not much use in debugging. Let's go ahead and let it compile and run, and we see our, our output here in Vehicles Main. Now, let me go ahead and add one more system out print line. And this will allow me to very quickly demonstrate the debugger. I'll tell you that if you're starting programming now, or if you're a bit junior to programming, the most important thing you can do for your career and yourself is learn the debugger. It will make everything make more sense, and it will make your projects go by a lot quicker because you can run the program at your own pace. Now, I only have a two-line program, but nonetheless, that's enough for me to demonstrate the debugger. So this time I right-click. I Notice I click to put this little uh, red dot here, which indicates that that's a breakpoint. What that means is when I debug, it's going to start the program and it's going to run the program until we hit that breakpoint. Once we hit that breakpoint, it's going to allow me to run the program at my own pace and also allow me to take a look at the output at my own pace. So what I want to do now is step over, which means execute this line and run to the next. If we come to run and debug actions, you can see a list of the things that we can do while debugging. And one of them is step over, which is F8. I can either select it here or hit F8 on my keyboard. But nonetheless, you notice when I trigger step over one way or another, it runs the line I'm on, and then it goes to this very next line. As a matter of fact, when I'm in the debug menu here, notice what happens when I click on console. You see that in vehicles main has been printed, but second line has not yet been printed because the debugger is waiting for me here on second line. I'll go ahead and choose F8 on my keyboard and take a look at that console in the lower part of the window. As soon as I choose F8, our next line executes. At this point, I can tell the debugger, thank you so much, I'm all finished debugging. So I can tell it to resume the program either by going here on the menu or choosing F9, and that tells it, keep running, don't wait for me anymore. So in this video, we've installed our IDE, we've installed the JDK, and we've also looked at some of the most important things that we can do with an IDE. Write our program, run our program, debug our program. This is an essential tool that we'll use throughout the rest of this course. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you.